Hello guys and uh, this will be a very quick video since a lot of you uh, guys asked me how I set up my uh, blender so I have this two panels like two views on the right so I can see the front and the side view so we'll do it today so it will be very fast so this is what you start from basically you have this layout panel and you start uh, with this like typical setup so what I do is first you have to drag in between two uh, viewports so here you have first viewport and here you have the second which is the timeline and you have to drag in the middle and this icon should pop I don't know what is this but there's two arrows and you can now right click on it and you can click on join area or split area but we will click join because I want to join the top uh, to the bottom so you have to point uh, to which direction you want to join the viewport so I want to join down so that's how I eliminated the timeline and now here you have on the right the scene collection and if you click here you can change to everything that you want so I changed to 3d viewport so you have the second viewport like I do and you can drag this around to make it bigger or smaller and I set up it to be to look in the front so I just use the Q and I click on the front and I hide everything so I go to the right here by holding middle mouse I click on this oh wait guys i click on this so thanks to this it will it will delete the gizmo and now i right click on this header and i click to unclick show header so it will hide the header so thanks to that i have the front viewport and if you don't want this grid to be visible uh, you have to un unhide this head bar but you can see that you have this arrow drop down here so if you click on it it will pop again and now you have to click here in this two i don't know balls and you just disable it so thanks to that you will have no grid behind you and you can also set up the mat cap to be i don't know this mat cap for example and also you can set up the shadow i always set the shadow and the cavity but uh, i use not screen type but I choose the word cavity so thanks to that you have this nice preview and now you can actually hide it so you can click right click on it and click show header so it will unhide the header and if you want to split the view you just have to drag from the corner of it so if you go to the I don't know top left corner of this view or uh, top right it doesn't matter and you cl left click and you drag down it will split the view into two so thanks to that you have two viewports and I just drag this down and in this second one I just move to the right view so I can see it from the right and you can join them by right clicking or you can split them if you right click on in the middle and click split area you'll have this guideline and now you can choose where you want to split your viewport and you can also set it up like this so this is very nice so I think that is it guys oh and maybe I will show you how to save it so if you are already done with your viewport for example I uh, I will split this viewport so I will drag it down and I will collapse this so I, I don't have this toolbar and if you want to save it so you can use it in the future so here I'll, I will also change to the math cap and I also disable the grid because I don't like the grid enable cavity shadow and that is it you can hide this if you want and I will enable the tool settings here because it's very nice and if you want to save it now you can just right click uh, not right click you can just click plus on this here so you can add a workspace and you can click duplicate current so it will duplicate the current view that you have here and you can double click on it and name it my new 
sculpting setup. So thanks to that, now you ha you will have it like all the time. So if you, I don't know, I save it right now. Okay, guys. So okay, I I know how to do it. So after you done the your setup, you just have to right click, not right click, left click. Sorry, guys. And here you have the defaults. And if you click on save startup file and click save to startup file, it will al always start with the same uh, setup that you had. Like for example, now I have this set as the startup. So next time I open Blender, it will start it with this setup. So let's open the Blender. And you can see that I have my workspace called layout 001 and I have this uh, saved uh, layout that I saved. And if you want to delete it, just right click and click delete and you just have to save startup file again. So it will start with this sphere. So that will be it guys. Uh, thank you for watching. And let me see last time, let me check last time for, for to be sure. And yeah, it, it does work. And yeah guys, so thank you for watching. And see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.